Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the online channel of the Commonwealth Club. I call it the Narrowway Channel. My name is Muiwa Falabi. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I want to share something I feel is very critical with you uh, on this video. And uh, well, a few days ago, I was just thinking about it and I realized how quickly my son grew. I remember so well, the very first day he took his first steps. It was his first birthday and I remember I was lying down uh, on the carpet in the living room and he took his first steps walking from the kitchen and he walked towards me, first step, second step and he walked towards me and just, you know, just fell on my chest. I remember it so well, the bodysuit he wore and all that and it was an exciting experience for me watching my son take his very step, first steps and all that and looking at it now. A full-grown adult in the second year in the university and within a couple of years he's out and he's serving and it's amazing how very quickly those almost two decades went by very quickly a few days ago I was on social media and I reconnected with one of my classmates back days at uh, back days in school and I remember she got married and had a daughter in our third year or so and she was such a cute baby I wished to carry her oh my goodness such a cute baby and uh, you know we all played with this very very beautiful girl and a few days ago when I reconnected with this classmate of mine I asked about the baby I said how is our baby and all that and she said to me she's married I was like what Married, yeah, she's grown. Over 25 years ago, she's married, she's grown. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't even picture her as an adult, thoughtless of being married. I can only remember that baby who used to carry so many years ago. And I began to think about time and think about this event. And I remember also the experience of the annulment of the June 12th elections in 1993. And thinking about it by next year, it's going to be 30 years ago, 30 years ago. I remember the experience so very clearly. Uh, the campaigns, the PDP and, uh, sorry, the, the uh, SDP and NRC, uh, the MKO, is our mano, and all that, and uh, Tofa is the answer, Tofa, and all the campaign and all the, all the interesting things that happened, and how the, the NEC, the NEC chairman, Humphrey Ngozi, came and was talking about and all of the elections and all the crisis and all the reaction. This happened 30 years ago by 2023 to so but 30 years ago by next year 30 years ago you see the, the the thinking for me is not in how long this event occurred it's really in how old i have grown since then how old i have grown ladies and gentlemen how old have you grown what have you been doing with your time what have you accomplished? What have I accomplished? You see, I look at my life and I ask myself, I've been living like a very regular person, committed to just earning a living, paying my bills and living a regular life, buy a car, build a house and live regularly and every day wake up to see how I can make ends meet and pay my bills and, and live a life of comfort. Is that what I have been doing with my years? Is that what you have been doing with your years? You see, most of us are just trapped in this delusion and distraction of living a good life. It's amazing how we can spend the whole of our life chasing something that would eventually end. And we're thinking that success is the ability to raise our kids and give them a good life, as it were. You know, good education and they're now doing well. Then we retire after many years, maybe 35 years of working. And we just sit down and begin to cruise our life until death. What are you doing with your life? What impact are you making with your life? What changes are you bringing to this world with your life? The Bible says in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians that we should redeem the time because the days are evil. And you see, we can't keep blaming bad administration, bad regime, bad days, hard days. These days are perpetually with us. The Bible says the days are evil. So to begin to think of a better environment, a better time, a better season before you can consider fulfilling your purpose and destiny is to waste your life and being a, becoming a non-accomplisher. There are no better days, as it were. As long as the devil is alive and active, there are no better days. The word of God says the days are evil. So you must make up your mind and decide to escape this desperate pursuit of a good life, of a comfortable life, of a painless life. 
and resolve in your mind to stand with God, the giver of life and giver of your destiny to fulfill your purpose. Many are trapped in that life of financial sufficiency, life of comfort. And you don't trust and believe God enough to be able to say, I'm going for my purpose. Many of us do not know that in the place of godly vision is where provision is. We're still living within the realities of our earthly economy, not trusting God, our divine provider, who is committed to sponsoring and paying for our purpose and destiny in life once we stand with him. What have you been doing with your life? The five talents, the two talents, the one talent that the Almighty gave to you and I, what are we doing with it? Have we buried it under a desperation to earn an income in paid employment or a business and we've never really resolved to fulfill that purpose for which God created us and we exist? Hmm, what are you doing with your life? You see, even going to church and being a steward for many of us is also a deal. We go to church and do all those things because we want God to bless us in return. It's not in that, it is, it's not in that desire to touch this generation and affect the world. It's not in our becoming a salt of the earth or a light of the world. Our thinking is the victim thinking of what is happening all around the world. We do not even see ourselves as the light in the darkness or the solution to the problems. We're not thinking ideas of solving global problems or worldly problems. We're only thinking of how we can be blessed in the midst of it. So God, I have done this. I've paid time. I've paid my offering. I've done this. I work for you. God, give me a car. How small is your thinking? Lord, give me a house. How small is your thinking? You're a world changer. You're a world changer. How old are you? <laughs> how old are you? You have an accountability eventually when this life passes to the one who gave you the life and gave you the talent and gave you the destiny and gave you the purpose and you must account to. You don't give an account of your career. No, you don't give account even of your successful marriage. You give an account of your purpose and destiny. If you truly want to fulfill your dreams, fulfill your purpose and dominate in destiny, it's time to make up your mind to do this. So I just want to invite you to join this Commonwealth Club. This club is a spiritual project of Christ Society International created by God with members as the recipients of a major kingdom wealth transfer. However, our priority is to see how we can help you get out of that life that's entrapped you in a desperation for financial liberty. We have created an opportunity and we've created platforms where individuals who feel a strong urge to begin to pursue their purpose and destiny can find an escape. And for those who have been called to full-time ministry, but they're so afraid because of perhaps the uh, comfortable life implication, financial implication, we have an opportunity for you to be able to escape this so that you can pursue your God and fulfill your destiny. So I want you to join our community. We hold meetings every Sunday at 4 p.m. online meetings so that all our partners around the world can join us. Zoom meeting on Sundays. And when you become a part of this movement, you can be a part of those meetings that will teach you how to live your life and access godly wealth without corruption, without cultism, and without compromise. I invite you, if the Spirit is convicting you right now to be a part of this moment, all you need to do is to send the word Commonwealth, the word Commonwealth, via WhatsApp, via WhatsApp, to 0802 569 0802-569-6670. 6670. The word Commonwealth. Send it and we'll share the details of how you can become a member and also be a part of our Sunday meetings at 4 p.m. where you learn so much as inspired by the Spirit and the Kingdom of God to be the best that you can be in purpose and destiny. That's the only place you can find happiness in the midst of this chaotic world. My name is Moima Falabi of Christ Society International. Thank you for sharing this time with me. God bless you. Have a splendid time.